All right, we're going to look at a couple of things in this uh, video. We're going to look at uh, continuously compounded interest problems, and we're going to, and it says here, define the rate. Um, if we can find the rate, it's kind of the same idea to find the time. Uh, and then this is really nice when we get into the exponential growth and decay problems because a lot of times we'll be looking for k, which is called the growth or decay constant, and then we'll be also be looking for time. So the procedure is going to be very similar. Uh, things to note. Uh, logs and uh, exponentials are inverses, so log base b of b to the x, the b's undo each other, they're inverses, so you're left with the exponent of x. We got the regular log, log, that's log base 10, so log base 10, 10 to the x, base 10's aren't going to undo each other, we're left with the x. And then specifically what we're going to be using is ln uh, and e are inverses of each other, so the ln of e to the x is just, is just x, okay? So we're going to look at um, our formula, amount equals principal e to the yard t, and uh, I'm going to show you how to show, solve for both the rate and the time. It's almost identical. In both cases, we're going to divide by the principal. So you have amount over principal is equal to e to the yard t, and since we're solving for either r or t, they're both in the exponent. So to solve for an exponent, um, most of the time we need a log. Remember we had the you know, if we could get the equal bases, then we had equal exponents. It's probably not going to happen here. So we're going to have to use the natural log. I like using the natural log because it's the least amount of writing. Okay, so we're going to ln both sides. And I also like using natural log with e because they're inverses of each other. Okay, so we got ln of a divided by p. And that's going to just be equal to rt because the ln and the e undo each other. Okay, now, if I want to solve for the rate... I divide by t. If I want to solve for the time, I'm going to divide by the rate. So that's what we're going to write here. So the rate is going to be ln of a over p divided by time. And if I want to solve for the time, it's going to be ln of a over p divided by the rate. Okay. All right, so we're going to do an example of finding the rate and also finding finding the time. Okay, so let's fast forward this so we don't have to uh, write it very slowly. So let's find the interest rate compounded continuously. So there's that magic word continuously. So that tells us we're going to use the PERT equation to grow 500 to 700 in six years. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write down the A, the P, the R, and the T, and then I'm going to go ahead and give you the opportunity to pause it in case you want to try to uh, identify those on your own. It's a good skill to develop. Okay, so the time is always in years for this type of problem, so that's six. The interest rate is what they're asking us to find, so we shouldn't know what that is. Uh, we're starting with 500, so that's our principal, and our amount is 700. So we're going to go ahead and plug in all that stuff. So 700 is equal to uh, 500 e to the rt, but we know what t is, it's 6, and um, so we're always isolating this exponential, so we're going to divide by 500 to isolate that exponential, so we'll have 7 fifths is equal to e to the r, 6r or r6, we'll take the natural log of both sides, and the natural log is going to undo the whole e for us, which is very nice. Right, so ln of 7 fifths is equal to 6r, divide both sides by 6, okay, so r is equal to ln 7 fifths with parentheses in the log divided by 6, and that is approximately 0 0.056 or about 5.6% interest, that's the interest rate we would need, okay? And uh, let's look at an example of solving for time. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and write all that stuff in. So, how long would it take to grow 700 to 1,000 compounded continuously? So, there's the magic word continuously for the PERT equation. And this time they give us an interest rate of 5%. Now, another question they could ask us is how long does it take us to double, to triple? Those are also um, asking us to solve for time. Okay, um, so we're going to write down A, 
P R and T and I will give you a moment if you want to try to do this on your own okay so the time we shouldn't know that because they're asking us to find it so we don't know what the time is the rate is 0.05 uh, what we start with is 700 and what we want to get to is a thousand go ahead and plug that stuff in and uh, just like the other one we're going to divide by the principles we're going to divide both sides by 700 oh looks like I have a typo so you may have been wondering this should have been a 700 there in the excitement we write down all kinds of crazy things or leave things out. Alright, so 10 over 7 is going to equal to E the 0.05T and uh, so exponential is isolated uh, so we're going to take the natural log of both sides and since we got E involved that's going to be nice the LN and the E are going to undo each other. So we have the LN of 10 over 7 is equal to uh, 0.05T and we'll just divide both sides by the 0.05t. Not the t, sorry, just the 0.05. And the t is equal to ln of 10 over 7 divided by 0.05. So our time is approximately uh, 7.1 years. So that's how long it's going to take. All right, so very similar to solving for the rate, solving for the rate, very similar to solving for the time, very similar to solving for growth decay constant or the time in an exponential uh, application.